Good evening and welcome to Champaign, Illinois for tonight's Bradley Braves matchup against the University of Illinois fighting Illini. Tonight is going to be a great game. It is the away game in our two game series here between the Illini and the Braves. Tomorrow night, we will see these two teams compete at the Owen Center in Peoria, Illinois. But for tonight, we are gonna watch some D2 ACHA hockey at the University of Illinois Ice Arena. I'm Megan Ruger-Smith on play-by-play -play alongside Logan Quinn on color commentary. Tonight's game will start at approximately 8.40 p.m. And before we get started, why don't we go into some keys to the game? Logan, what do you got for us? Well, Megan, the number one key for Bradley is going to be shots. Last weekend against Iowa, Bradley did not get very many shots on goal, and this caused them to get heavily outshot. So if they can get more shots on net, it'll allow them to create more scoring opportunities. Two of their goals in the second game came off of rebounds, and you can't get a rebound without a shot. The second key of the game is going to be penalties. In two games last weekend, Bradley had 31 penalty minutes. This caused them to be in the box a lot of the time, and it caused them when they had power plays to have the power play be canceled due to receiving an unnecessary penalty. So they'll need to stay out of the box tonight. The third key is energy. A lot of times, it looks like Bradley wasn't playing a full 60-minute game and that they were lacking some kind of energy. So if, whether that can come from a hit, a goal, or just an early turnover, Bradley really needs to get that kind of spark to allow them to play the full 60 minutes. For the University of Illinois, their number one key is going to be score early. In both games last weekend, Iowa scored early on into the first period, and it kind of deflated the Bradley team. So if they can do that, hopefully they'll get that same deflation as Iowa did. The second key is going to be getting bodies in front of Devin Schneider. Last week in Iowa did a really good job of getting bodies in front of the Bradley crease, which caused the goalie to either have to move to look around the crease or just kind of hope and pray. So if they can get bodies in front, it'll really make the Bradley goaltending struggle. And the third and final key is the power play. Like I mentioned earlier, Bradley last weekend was heavily penalized. So if Illinois can get off to some quick power play success, they'll surely win this hockey game. Back to you, Megan. All right, thank you for those wonderful keys. Now, we briefly mentioned that our starter for tonight is Devin Schneider. Now, for a majority of the games this season, we have actually seen Cole Walter in the net for the Braves. So tonight's gonna be a little bit different on the defensive end here. What do you think Schneider is gonna look like in the net tonight? Well, Devin Schneider, compared to Cole Walters, he's more of a solid fundamental goalie, while Cole is more of a goalie who's going to make the spectacular save. So as long as the Bradley defense is able to play solid and not force Devin to make any miracle saves where he is sliding across the crease or trying to dive to save a puck, he should look really good tonight. All right, now it's time to meet the team. You got a little bit of a preview on this graphic. I'm Megan Ruger-Smith on play-by-play -play and directing this game, followed by Logan Quinn on color commentary. Caden Sexton is our sideline reporter. Courtney White on camera and Garrett Hamill joining us in the broadcast on graphics as well. And as always, a big shout out to, shout out to Scott Chernobrov for the wonderful animations that we have. We are gonna come back in just a few minutes. Actually, we are going straight from warmups to game start here. They are not cleaning the ice before the game. And there's only 20 seconds left in the warmup, so we will just stay here and talk to you guys. I am so thankful for all of our crew who came out tonight. I do appreciate everyone traveling. It should be a fun game tonight. Yeah, a quick note before the game, this rink is actually an old speed skating rink, so it causes it the ice to be a little bit shorter than normal, but a lot wider, so that could heavily influence the game, causing offense and defense to force you to move more side to side than uh, forward and backwards. Braves had a six game winning streak coming into last weekend's matchup against the University of Iowa Hawkeyes. 
two losses were taken by the Braves in wonderful performances by the Hawkeyes. And something notable from that weekend was the hat trick by Tommy Davis in, I believe, the Saturday game. Logan, what did you see in that game from Tommy Davis that you think we need to see here tonight? Uh, well, the first thing was he was crashing the net. On the few shot opportunities Bradley got, he was one of the guys who was constantly crashing the net. And you're taught from a young age, young age that if you crash the net, good things will happen. And that's exactly what happened on two of those three goals. The second thing is, I, if I'm Bradley, I'm really looking to him to get a goal early or to get some kind of spark on offense because he is – he was one of the few uh, kind of bright spots from that weekend for the offense from Bradley. So we see the starters here. We'll talk about the Brave starters first. Tommy Shack, Tommy Davis are two of the more senior members here on this team. It is definitely a favorite line by coaches Gertler and Chastine. This to me says that they are going to try and start off hot down below where we don't have good camera view Lee comes in and already we have a stoppage here offside I believe was the call very hard to tell with how wide this rink is like I mentioned earlier wide rink here we are tucked away in a nice booth so we don't have the best ability to see I'm currently looking at a brick wall and here we see Carrick Shooting it at the net, quick offense here. Coming around is Lee. Lee will shoot it, intercepted by Davis. In the corner goes Fisher. Fisher knocks it over back to Carrick. Carrick taking a careful eye, a nice job there by Flood poking it out. Davis coming out and he will hit it. Nice job there once again by Fisher to get that away from Tommy Davis. Good sign there by Bradley, showing that they're trying to get shots early on after last weekend. Tommy again looks very fast, and he looks ready to go, which is a very good sign for the Braves. Braves definitely looking for Tommy Davis to start some action here. It's definitely a part of the reason why he is on the starting line. You really want him to start this game off strong and see what you can do. Spence on the ice now with Cam Etchison. Schmidt. Blessing and Rack. Blessing tries to get it. Nice. Big defensive shove there by Enright. Into the corner goes Barisi. Following it around is Crossing. Nice job there by Blessing. Blessing in the corner with Barisi and crossing. Hit away by Schmidt. Schmidt over to Blessing, and that is caught by the by the goalie, Tyler Wardell, number 30. Some good early slot opportunities there for Bradley. That first one, they couldn't really convert and get a shot on. But in that second one there, the goalie barely got it. He thought it squeaked by him, but luckily he still had it in his, I believe, in between his left shoulder and his armpit. All right, we see one of Bradley's best defenders, Zach Malbon, on the ice. Coming around, he backhands it. Intercepted by Chris DeConcillis, one of the two DeConcillis brothers on the ice. Ellis knocks it away from Bradley. In the corner is McDonald. McDonald into the wall by Concillis. Concillis and Ellis fighting it out back there. Bradley won't get a change here because of hitting it out of play, but luckily I don't think, besides one player, Illinois doesn't like to go for one either, so they won't be hurting uh, tiredness-wise. And Bradley with the faceoff, Corrales trying to fight it out from under Wilde Concilis. Concilis trying to poke it at Schneider. Nice reflexes there by Schneider. Malbon circling Wilde Concilis. Pierce trying to get in the way of a pass. Ricocheted off of Pierce's stick, poking out at it is Fortune. Chasing it down is Janowski. Pierce keeping an eye on Janowski. Janowski over to Will DeConcillis and it'll get passed. 
Coming to pick it up is Malbon. Malbon coming in hot. Four U of I defenders. Daniels now over. Albanese on the ice wearing number 82 tonight. Over there in the corner, fighting it out. And coming around, Albanese. Gousset will hit it out. Chasing after it is Tay Lee. And that almost bounces close to the net by Janowski. Gousset into the corner, trying to put some momentum together here are the Braves. A lot of back and forth right now. Garrick over to Lee. Schneider will knock it away. Coming to pick it up is Fisher. Nice shot there by Lee. Good stop by Schneider. Schneider with a careful eye. And the Illini take a moment here to reset their momentum. Carrick coming around. Another shot taken by Lee. Lee on it tonight as the puck gets sent into the Illini defensive zone. Coming around is Fisher. Intercepted by Tommy Shack. Shaq getting it poked away by Gertstein. In the corner, Tommy Davis gets away from Davis and Flood. Illini on the ice. And that will get called icing. Two big keys I've noticed early is if you're Illinois, you're wanting to test Devin Schneider early, and that is certainly what they have done, but he has risen to the occasion. And then the second one for Bradley is they are getting a lot of slot chances, which they have not been able to do the last two games. And the faceoff, Braves taking control of the puck, shot out. Into the corner, and Shaq now with Bayan. Shaq still over in the corner with Fisher, the two of them coming around. With the puck is Bayan. Bayan shoots it over to his twin brother. Two Bayans on the ice here. In the corner, Flood. Flood battling it out with the Bayans. Tommy Davis gets control of it. We'll send it across the ice over to Schmidt. Schmidt coming in hot. And he chips it up off of Chris DeConcillis. Around the corner. Nice shot there by Barisi. Picked up by Schmidt. Schmidt with a big shot and chips it across. Attempt to pick it up there by Barisi once more. Malbon. Malbon tries to get it over to Spence. Spence unable to get a grip on it. Chris DeConcillis over high, almost out of play there. And coming around, Vine. Vine circling the Braves. Picked up by Barisi. Back to Chris DeConcillis. Blessing attempted to poke it away, unable to get a hand on it. And right, shoots it across. Another hit there by Schmidt. Schmidt attempting to keep the Braves in control. And Gumbartzik heads off the ice for a switch here as we see a line change by the Illini. Coming around, Malbon hits it off the wall, picked up by Dom Fisher. Back into the wall. Following it after it, Fortune. Ellis coming in, shot at Schneider, and that is gloved. Yeah, Devin has come to the occasion so far, and he is showing the Bradley defense that he is ready to play, showing them that I have your back, and I just need you guys to have mine. Taking the face off. Goes to the Illini. Janowski sends it into the corner, picked up by Wilde Kinsilis. 
DeConcillis hands it off to Mike Fortune. Fortune over to Fisher. Fisher on the outside, sends it over, unable to get a grip on it. Corrales coming around, and Corrales sends it into the wall, getting it away from Ellis. Malbon coming in hot, skating down the ice, looking for a shot, and he will send it back to Pierce, over to Baker, and gloved by Wardell. Really good passing play there by the Braves. Allowed them to get a nice opportunity there in the slot and then a good save there by the Illinois goaltender. Illinois currently out shooting the Braves 5-2. to two. Still early on in this game. Not much offensive action being taken here. And the Illini come out with the faceoff. Into the wall goes Christy Kinsillis. Kinsillis following as that is a close shot there. And coming around is Hunter Carrick. Shot off by Gousset. Picked away there by Sam Bryant. Unable to keep a hand on it is Bouchard. And that gets past Bryant again, coming around Tay Lee. Lee skating around the Braves, making it look easy. A shot there by Hunter Garrick, deflected by Schneider off the pads. Garrick coming around, followed by Daniels. Chasing him down is Davis. Davis, one of the faster skaters, takes a fall. And we see Rock facing off in the corner with Christy Kinsillis as Lee once again gets his hand on it. Rock over to Davis. Davis looking for an in, and he will shoot it, chipping it just high enough to get out of play. Lee joining the Fighting Illini from South Korea. He's looked like he's had some really nice skating ability and hands on him there. That could be a really big threat to Bradley. And this line stays out on the ice. Flood here to take the face off from Will DeConcillis. As the Illini come in helping out DeConcillis, Ellis gets control of the puck going backwards is Schmidt. And Ellis keeps it in his hands in the corner and picking it up. Coming around, Mike Fortune. Back by Rock. Rock unable to get a hand on it. DeConcillis intercepted by Tommy Davis. Davis trying to get something started here for the Braves. Will go into the corner with Janowski. Davis and Janowski in the corner. Davis takes another fall as Janowski getting away with it. Tosses it over to Fortune into the corner. Davis picks it up. Coming back fast. Davis over to Spence. Schmidt will pick it up. Davis stays on the ice. Schmidt bouncing it off the wall, picked up by Fisher. Fisher hits it back to Bayan. Jackson Bayan will hit it. Attempted interception by Blessing, unsuccessful. And the puck gets away. Schmidt coming around. Nice block there by Tyler Bayan. And Jackson Bayan over to Tyler Bayan. The Twins. Looking to make some action here for the Illini into the corner. And coming around, Fisher with control of the puck being followed closely by Rock. Buy-in over to Buy-in, unable to get a shot. Amazing reflexes there by Devin Schneider. Fisher looking and tosses it over to Smat. Buy-in, Jackson Buy-in. Over to Dom Fisher. Tyler Bayan now. And he shoots it. It gets just away from the net. Unable to pick it up is Leo Smat. Chipped high into the air by Etchison. Hand pass there called. So Bradley will get a free offensive zone faceoff after that. That's what that line of Bayan, Bayan, and uh, who was the third on that one, Megan? Smat was out there as well as Fortune and Fisher. That's what those those three, they look to have really good chemistry. They were pick, picking apart the Bradley defense there, getting a lot of good opportunities. 
Devin Schneider holding strong. Definitely the guardian of Bradley's defense at right now. And Gumbartzik coming in hot. And that gets picked up and tripped is Zach Pierce. Bradley will be heading to their first power play of the night now. Something that against Iowa, they did not really convert on, giving a lot of chances. Our Iowa, the Hawkeyes spent a lot of time in the penalty box, and the Braves were unable to make anything out of them. So right now, the Braves need to get a goal here. I think a lot of it comes from their morale, just to be able to kind of prove to themselves that they can still score on a power play. And coming in, Will DeConcillis. DeConcillis over to Simbekos. Knocked off the back wall, Pierce over to Shaq. Shaq looking, and Shaq will send it in. Bounces off the glove, and coming around again, Shaq chasing after it. Bryant behind Shaq. Shaq over to Davis. This is the line that Bradley is putting their trust in. Nice job by Smat to poke that away, Pierce. Over to Bryant. And Bryant shoots it off the pads of Wardell. Taking his time, Shaq over to Bryant. Bryant to Davis. Davis, and it gets right away from Wardell. That was the closest that we have seen to a goal yet. A little over a minute on the power play as Sam Bryant chases after it. Bryant coming down the ice. Nice pass over to Davis. Great block there by Fortune to get it away from the smooth skating Davis. Coming on the ice now is Cam Etchison. Blessing. Blessing and Deacon Sillis in the corner. Braves trying to keep the puck in the offensive zone. As Gousset is into the wall alongside Deacon Sillis. And joining them is Blessing and Etchison. Rock on the outside, awaiting. And coming in is Vincent Enright. Enright will send it down. Schneider keeps an eye on it, but doesn't make a move. Poked away is Daniels. Daniels over to Blessing. And Blessing attempts to get it away. Good block there by Enright. And pushed into the wall is Goose once more. Rock over to Etchison. Etchison unable to get a stick on it. Into the wall by Chris DeConcillis. Illinois is full strength now. Thank you. The Illini full strength now trying to get it out of their own zone. Braves doing a nice job putting pressure here on Wardell. And into the corner, going after it is Enright. Yeah, Andrew Spence there, even though Bradley wasn't able to get a goal, he had some really nice goal or uh, crease presence there, not allowing the Illinois goaltender to fully see the puck, which caused Bradley to get some nice second chance opportunities from their perimeter shots there. So really good work by him. On the ice, another face off here. Daniels takes it around the corner, picked up by Janowski. Janowski over to Fisher. This is a dangerous line here for the Braves. And Malbon in the corner against Hunter Carrick. Albanese on the outside coming in. Lee. Handling it, looking over to his teammate, Konacek. Penalty coming here, I believe, to Illinois, because they were the ones possessing the puck. Yes, it will be to the line eye. So that is a off the puck bad penalty there by Lee. So we just watched a Bradley power play come and go for the Braves without a score. What do they need to do this power play to try and get ahead offensively? 
Well, that's what last power play, they did a really good job of having someone in the net forcing second chance opportunities, but all of their slot shots were coming from the outside of the slot. So if they can really get some high quality shots versus the low quality quantity they got, it would be a great opportunity for the Braves. Sam Bryant with the puck and oh. shoots it into <laughs> the net. Very yeah. nice shot there from Sam Bryant through traffic. And I was just saying that they were getting a lot of goal lead that'll hopefully energize them now for the rest of the game and it gets the monkey off the back from the power play who have now scored so really big goal there for the Braves nice job there by the Braves the Braves love to prove me wrong whenever I say anything love to see them scoring on that power play it's been a while since we've seen the Braves score on a power play and a nice direct shot there by Sam Bryant it left me and Megan speechless at first. <laughs> it was incredible. Flood poking it away. In comes Davis attempting to steal it from Enright. And Braves once again with control. Bouncing it off the wall is Schmidt. Schmidt and Flood is able to get a hand on it. And Rock over. Shaq unable to get a stick on it as the Illini try and push back here. Carrick. We'll send it over to Lee, and that is a return goal by Lee. Five hole there on Devin Schneider, but that was a really good. Chance. Yeah, I believe he also had a man in front of him too, his own guy. So he was fighting a screen and facing a one-timer. Not what you want as a goalie. The Braves finally find some offensive spark, and then Lee takes that away from them and ties it up. Fisher with the puck, intercepted by Spence. Janowski coming after it in the corner, will chip it away. Fisher handling it over to Bayan. Poked away from the Braves by McDonald. And another attempt at the net just on the outside of the post. Fisher getting by Corrales. Janowski pokes it away. And Spence trying to pick up some momentum and he will dump it by the goalie. And Fisher Good clean pass there over to Jackson Bayan. And Tyler Bayan goes after it. And Chris DeConcillis sends it over to Fisher. Back to DeConcillis. Over to Vine. And Vine gets it up in the air. Gousset. Gousset will poke it over to Bryant. Bryant chasing after it at full speed. Chris DeConcillis with Brian in the corner. Gentle push there by Gambartzik. And Gambartzik picks it up, sends it over to Barisi. And Barisi and Gousset getting to a little bit of a push pull there. And things are getting heated in front of the zone and Schneider finally puts a stop to the momentum. Yeah, looking back at that goal, I think as a goalie, you're expecting on a one-timer a nice high kind of fastball, and it appeared Lee whiffed on it a little bit, causing it to be more of a change-up low shot. So I don't think Devin Schneider was really expecting that, which caused him to have so much trouble on it. This line getting a lot of playing time tonight. Davis, Shaq, alongside Flood, Rock, and Schmidt. Down goes the puck, and Fisher sends it into the glove of Schneider. Really good face-off play there by Illinois, who was able to kind of tie it up, win it back to their man, and get the shot that they were wanting. And another quick shot there, the Illini just taking shot after shot. And Garrick. Back and forth go Konacek 
and Vine. And around the corner goes the puck. Chasing after it is Tommy Davis. Definitely the fastest brave right now. And Tommy over to Schmidt. <laughs> and Carrick will pick it up. Carrick trying to get past the defense of Davis and Malbon. Malbon coming around the back of the net. And he will get into the wall. And Flood unable to get control of the puck. Janowski over to Schneider. Schneider not gloving it and sends it off for Malbon to pick it up. Malbon shoots it around the corner. Shaq will kick it. Davis fighting it out alongside Enright. Tyler Bayan over to Leo Smat. Enright in the defensive zone. And he will send it over to Jackson Bayan. Nice job there by Zach Daniels to pick it away. Dom Fisher in the corner and around. Picked up by McDonald of the Braves. And coming around back and forth, Tyler Bayan in the corner. And that is a shot there by Daniels and picked up. Really good play there by Zach Daniels, picking off that pass and then creating a high scoring opportunity shot for him. Hopefully Bradley now can do what the Illini were doing and win a face off and get some good offensive zone time and shots from it. And the face off goes to Bradley. Gousset. With the puck, Goose will shoot a great defense there by Christy Consilis. Ellis coming in alone, unable to successfully get the puck over to Mike Fortune. And the puck sends out on the ice. Christy Consilis coming around. Picked up and sent over to Will D. Consilis. And it looks like he fakes out Goose there coming around and not shooting it. And that gets shot down the ice and called. That's what a nice goal for either team here late in the period would be huge. Late goals can really kill morale for a team. So if one team can score, it could ultimately affect the outcome of the game with how big late goals are. A minute 55 remaining in the period. Puck goes down, Corrales attempting to battle it out and that'll get picked up by Baker. Baker over to Rock into the net. Nice defense there by Wendell. Wardell, my apologies. Bradley again there on that opportunity was able to get bodies in front and really it just happened to hit the Iowa goal or the Illinois goaltender, excuse me, in the pad as a goalie you, there's not much you can do when you have bodies in front. You're just going down, hoping it hits you, and that's exactly what happened. So if Illinois can, or Bradley, excuse me, can keep getting bodies in front, it'll help them score immensely. And the puck is out. Braves looking to tack on something here with a big shot by Schmidt. Little far outside. Really good tip play there by Schmidt. Shaq, who is nearly able to get a tip shot on net, which, again, goalies, it, it, it just hits you or it goes in. You don't have time to react. Bradley now heading to the third power play of the game. Interference to Illinois. Another power play opportunity here by the Braves. That'll be to number 12, Will DeConcillis. Davis, back to Sam Bryant. Let's see if Sam Bryant can pull off some more magic. And Davis unable to stick it. Into the corner are Davis alongside Fortune of the Illini. Bryant once again, and that gets just outside of the goaltend. And Spence over to Davis. The Braves a little hasty here to try and get another goal. Shaq. And Shaq with a big hit, big block by Dom Fisher. 
And Davis coming around the outside. Sam Bryant, my apologies, being picked off by Ellis. Davis open, and Bryant will keep his eye out. Bryant passes it over to Davis. Davis, nice block there by Christy Kinsillis. Again, Andrew Spence being a menace in the paint. He, I know he didn't score earlier, but he probably would have to be my kind of player of the period for the Braves as he has really caused a lot of opportunities for them, which they much need after the Iowa games last weekend. 41 seconds left in the period. Nice turnout here from a Bradley student section and a lot of Bradley parents have joined us here in Champaign. And we are back. Atchison coming to grab the puck. Atchison poked it away. Rock. Rock back to Blessing. Blessing over to Baker. Unable to get it in the goal. Atchison again. Nice pass by Atchison. Over to Flood. Flood back to Atchison. And Atchison will send it in the corner to Baker. Baker. Unable to get a good stick on it. 10 seconds remain, and we have a pause here. I'm not sure exactly what they're calling. The Braves will end this period here on the power play, and there will be about, about 30, 33, seconds, 33 I seconds left starting the second period. And... Davis takes the puck drop. Picked up by Lee Shack, poking it away. Schmidt. Schmidt over to McDonald. And that ends the period. So the one thing I noticed that period that was really affecting both teams was how wide this rink is. It was causing them to shift over to the side that the puck was, leaving a lot of back tour opportunities. And that's how that legal for Illinois was created was the whole defense and offense shifted over to the right side of the Illinois offensive zone and it caused Lee to be wide open back door where he was able to one time it. So I think that the size of the rink is definitely gonna play a factor throughout the rest of the game. All right, and as you see down there, we have our sideline reporter, Caden Sexton. Give us your analysis of the period, Caden. seen last weekend at Iowa. Bradley and Iowa spent too much time in the box last weekend and significantly damaged both teams. We exit the first period with Bradley having zero minutes on the penalty. However, Iowa had three penalties. The first one didn't amount to anything for Bradley, which is not what Coach Gertler was hoping for after failing on over a dozen power plays against Iowa. However, 11 seconds into our second power play, Captain Sam Bryant netted the first goal of the game. Sadly, quickly after, uh, U of I tied it up to make it 1-1. However, there's a lot of promise that came out of that first period. We were only outshot 11-6, which is significantly closer of a margin than either of the two games against Iowa. Bradley needs to keep this game tight, keep it close, and they have a very good chance of beating the Illini in this one. I'm excited to see next period of action. Back to you, Megan. All right, thank you so much, Caden. What do the Braves need to do? You were talking a little bit about the rink size being an adjustment. How do you think that's going to impact the Braves' second period here? Well, I think defensively, they really need to stay center because Illinois, they were, look, they were looking for that backdoor pass. And Bradley, they kind of adjusted to it later in the period. But early on, they were really shifting over, causing the backdoor opportunity to be there. And offensively, they were looking for it as well. And they, they actually created a couple chances early on. So if they can really lock it down defensively and then maybe use it to create some offense offensively, it would, it would help a lot. All right. It is a close game here at the University of Illinois Ice Arena as we head into the first intermission tied 1-1. One one. And as you mentioned, 11-6 shots on goal. Quite a close game. All the action can be seen here at the Bradley Hockey Network. 
Be sure to come back after this break. We'll catch you in about 15 minutes. Don't go anywhere.
welcome back to the Owen Center, not the Owen Center. I'm so used to saying welcome back to the Owen Center that I did not say welcome back to the University of Illinois Ice Arena. Guess I'm just looking forward to having another home game because tomorrow night there is a rematch between these two teams. But right now we still have two more periods to play. As we come into the second period, the Braves and the Illini are tied 1-1. However, the Braves are gonna start this period with a power play. Yeah, 30 seconds remaining on it. So even if they don't score, it would be nice to get off with some early uh, period chances. Davis starting off the bat here. Davis not having any open shot and he will send it back to Bryant. Bryant back to Davis. Gets kicked off the skate of Leo Smat and that is a goal right off. And sorry about that. We are trying to fix the audio issues here. The static does sometimes occur on our audio system. All right, and we are coming around the corner. And in the corner is Janowski. Daniels poking it away. Janowski in the corner, picking it up. And Contreras will take a shove at Vine. Sorry about these audio issues. Not sure what's quite happening here. And down in the corner that we cannot see. Poked away by Schneider. Coming around the corner. Kona check. And Konachuk will send it behind him. And that is a great play there by Fisher and Konachuk. A lot of chemistry there between these two players. And a blind pass by Enright will end up back in the stick of Konachuk. And in the corner, Blessing and Carrick. A lot of volume here from the fans and the benches. Town with Schmidt and Rock as well. The Braves struggling to stay on their feet, but nice job there by Schneider poking away the puck from the net. Great huge, reflexes there. Huge save there by Devin, who was down and out from the play. And Lee will pass it over to Carrick. Carrick coming around. And Blessing was trying to make an attempt there at an offensive branch. And and Flood coming in alongside Fortune. And it goes back into the U of I defensive zone as neither team are unable to get any control on it. I really am sorry about the audio issues. We have not had anything like this happen before on our broadcasts. 
And McDonald in the corner, but that'll get picked up by Zach Malbon. And Malbon will dump it. And coming around Ellis, Ellis makes a shot. Nice reflexes again by Devin Schneider. And a lot of fighting over there at the net. And we see Ellis coming away from it. And that gets picked up by Jackson Bayan. Bayan coming around and Devin, nice job there. B bounces off the net post. And we see a little bit of action here as Jackson Bayan comes around in the corner. And the puck gets chucked into the air as Flood tries and knocks it away from the U of I defenders here. And we are back in U of I's defensive zone and coming around is Captain Sam Bryant. Sam Bryant in the corner trying to find a brave to pass it to. And it gets picked up for a quick second there by Pierce, but we see Bryant making his way down the ice. Braves scrambling here to find some defense as they were in a very offensive forward mindset and that gets poked away by Bryant. Bryant alongside Smat. Smat in the corner and picked up by Baker. Nice stick handling there by Baker to get it past Tyler Bryant. Yeah, I want to go back to that save by Devin Schneider earlier. It was a really nice intercept by the Illinois forward. Devin Schneider went for the poke, the poke check, missed it, and then he gave it a second effort with his stick, saving a wide open net. A play you don't really see from goaltenders a lot, because once they're down and out, it's usually impossible to get that second save. In the corner, starting off. Sean Vine. And Rock will take a fall there. As we are still trying to figure out the root cause of our audio issues here. Once again, I do apologize. This is a new ailment for us. It's a new broadcast setup as well. Schmidt dumping it down, and that gets and that gets picked up in the corner by Janowski. And Rock will come in. A little collision there between Contreras and Blessing as Blessing is coming around. Nice job getting past Vine, and that gets chipped up high into the air, stays in the rink. And in the corner. They are battling it out and falling is Sean Vine. And Rock will take a stab at it at the net and a lot of commotion there. Big fall there by Paul Contreras. And Schmidt on the ice and he shoots. It gets blocked by one of the many defenders here. Iowa definitely making a nice stand here in their defensive position in the corner and nice job there by Vine trying to get it away from Bradley and that is shot by Enright and coming around Tyler Bayan, Bayan, fake out shot there. Tossed over to Christy Gonzalez, who was unable to have a successful shot. And Enright handles it and hands it back to Tyler Bayan. Bayan 
Over to Leo Smat. Smat in front of the neck. Net. And Tyler Bayan once again coming around. Albanese attempting to stop his momentum. Yeah. The Braves this period have really fallen back into what they were doing wrong against Iowa. They're not really possessing the puck at all, and they're really allowing Illinois to skate around and create a lot of offensive zone chances. Flood here taking the face off. Braves spending a lot of time in their own zone here in the second period. As U of I has taken a fall to the Braves. And Tommy Shack gets it poked away by Tay Lee. Lee, smooth pass there over to Konachek. Konachek over to Fisher and Nice clean pass there to Carrick. Oh. And that just bounces out of the net. And waiting for a good pass between the legs. Pass there, Konachek. Nice job there. And Shackle glove it, throwing it down. And that gets in the net. Two unlucky bounces there for the Braves. The first one, Eleanor. which Illinois was finally able to convert on the second one there. All right, we are all tied up here. Two to two. 11 minutes left in the second period. And a lot of quick skating happening here by the Illini. Illini not looking fatigued one bit. Big trip there by Pierce over to Christy Consilis. And Goose over to Sam Bryant. Sam Bryant will chase it down in the corner. And Baker unable to get a stick on it. Pierce sends it back. Corrales trying to keep it in the zone, but nice passes here by the Illini. Intercepted by Baker. And unable to get a clean pass in is Pierce and Corrales coming around is Janowski. Janowski shooting it backwards. It kind of bounced off his own goalie's glove. Ellis coming in fast. Guse on the defense. Sam Bryant, nice job pushing that away. Picked up by Barisi. And Fisher sends it over to Schneider. Nice block there by Schneider. And Blessing will chase after it. And Fisher coming around, looking to back his way in. However, he does not get the chance. Bradley standing strong in front of Schneider. And passed over to Barisi, and that is out. Yeah, Bradley's doing a really good job of getting in front of shots and getting in front of pucks, not allowing a lot on Devin Schneider. On that shift alone, I believe they've blocked at least two shots, which it really helps out your goaltender. And a, a goalie will be very happy when his players are blocking shots in front of him. Offensive zone faceoff now for Illinois. Cam yeah, Edgison taking the faceoff here for the Braves. And chasing after it is Blessing. Fisher shoots it over to Jackson Bayan. Bayan, nice stick handling there as he sends it back. And picking it up and chasing after it is Vincent Enright. And Enright keeps it away from Pierce. Into the corner goes Smat. Tommy Davis once again falling on the ice. Coming in is Tyler Bayan. Schmidt comes in against Bayan. It trips him by just kind of being there. And Davis coming in hot and chips it. Nice catch there by Wardell. 
Bradley's being outshot 6-1 to one so far this period. Luckily for the Braves, though, that one chance they had, they capitalize on. And it's allowed to keep them in the game at 2-2 two to two so far. Blood there having a word with the referee before he settles down for the faceoff. And Schmidt pokes at it, or Flood, my apologies. Picked up by Lee. Lee all the way across the ice over to Chris DeConcillis. DeConcillis back to Lee. Lee back to Philip Konacek. And coming around, Hunter Carrick. Carrick shoots at the net. Nice job there by Schneider. His defense has been stellar this game. And nice block there by Davis. Coming in is Shaq. And Shaq over to Flood, unable to get a grip on it. And Flood will bounce it off the wall back to Shaq, picked up by DeConcillis. And Lee will poke it away. And Davis chips it off the glass, avoids it going out into the bench. And Daniels will take a shot. Great defense here by the Illini. Bryant, Bryant over to Flood, Flood back to Bryant. Bryant in the corner, taking his time. And Flood over to Daniels. Both Daniels and Albanese unable to get a poke at it as it'll get sent into the corner. Chipped up into the air is the puck. Smat chases after it, picked up by Janowski. Matt alongside Bayan. Bayan now in front of the net. Bradley's defense doing everything they can to try and mess up the rhythm that the line I have here. Big shot there by Enright comes up short. Bayan against the wall alongside Contreras. And Contreras tumbles down with Enright. And time is called. I really want to see how Bradley lines up here for the faceoff. Because something I've noticed throughout the game is both teams on their offensive zone faceoffs, they've, instead of going with the kind of traditional more 3 2, where you line up the three forwards even and then the two defensemen, they've been electing for shot faceoffs, where you're trying to win it back to a man straight off the draw and then give him a nice rip on net, which Bradley elects to do so here again. Corrales starting off. Corrales a little physical there with Vine. Pierce will shoot it at the net. Nice job there by Wardell. Pierce once again with the puck. Tries to get a smooth path to Baker. Good job there by the Illini defense. A little under seven minutes remaining here. And... A lot of chaos in front of the net there as we see Corrales take on Enright. I believe Bradley got their first shot on net in around 13 minutes there. So that offensive zone faceoff win and the eventual shot there was pretty big for Bradley as they haven't had much time in the offensive zone or very many shots on net this period. Eighteen to eight shots on goal here. Braves consistently behind by ten. McDonald shoots it. Blessing choosing not to follow up on that play. And unable to pick it up is Gumbartic. Gumbartic poked away by Spence. Fisher and shoots it. Nice catch there by Schneider. Yeah, Devin was easily able to see that. There was no one in front of him, so he made a nice glove save there, snagging out of the air. We see a line change here. The Braves bringing out their veterans, Tommy Shaq, Tommy Davis, Flood Malbon along side. Someone in the corner that I can't see, unfortunately, who I assume is Matt McDonald here with the puck. 
Nice skating there, unable to make a move though. Hunter Carrick. Yeah, that offensive zone faceoff there, like I pointed out earlier, Illinois opted to have a faceoff play, which both teams have been trying to capitalize on so far, but neither has. And Etchison will take the face off here. And Bryant will chase after it. And Bryant will have it intercepted by Christy Kinsillis. In the corner, Goose. Spence chasing after it, blessing flying. And over to Etchison. Etchison tries for a quick pass that gets behind the net. Chipped up in the air. Bryant gloves it on the ice. And Bryant to Blessing. Tips off Blessing. Aggressive defense here by Deacon Sillis. And coming around, Tay Lee. Lee to Carrick. That. That shift there, the Braves probably had their best offensive zone look of the period. They had a nice two-on-one. The first attempt sadly got blocked, and then they were almost able to bury it on their second one, but it went wide. A little under five minutes in the second, second period. The two teams tied. And Baker coming in hot with the puck, and that gets sent over to Pierce. Pierce. Unable to intercept it before it gets to Wardell. And the Illini control it, it gets sent down. A lot of back and forth here this period. Ellis. Baker, intercepted by Janowski. Janowski. Unable to keep rain on it, and Schmidt will send it down. Picked up there by Gertstein. Pierce in the corner. And Ellis comes out victorious from that little boar battle. And Will D. Kinsillis comes around, trying to get something going here for the Illini. And Will D. Kinsillis hands it over to Enright. Another block by Tommy Davis. And Tommy Davis coming in fast, looking for someone. Unfortunately, no one was where he needed them to be. And the Braves still pushing it in the defensive zone of the Illini. Shaq with a careful hand on it. Great defense there by Jackson Bayan. Coming around is Will DeConcillis. And we see a line change here for the Illini. Shaq, Shaq on his own and joined by Davis. Davis will follow it in the corner. And coming out is Flood. And that gets handed over to Tyler Bayan. Nice job there by McDonald and Malbon. Malbon now trying to get it out of their zone. Chipped up in the air by Flood. Spence, Spence over to Davis. Davis now unable to get a good shot in as he had to chase away the Illini defense. Tyler Bayan in the corner. Coming around is Enright. Enright over to Ber Reese. Bryant now coming, chasing after it in his own defensive zone as we see. A quick switch here for the Illini, and that gets sent down. In the corner is Grady Blessing, and coming out of it is Tay Lee. And the puck once again will get sent down. A lot of back and forth here. Noticed a really good kind of strategy by the Braves. Illinois D likes to play board to board and it's leaving the middle of the ice open. Bradley the last couple shifts have gotten a lot of nice breakaway pass looks. They haven't been able to convert yet but it could be something that later on they might be able to get a goal from. 
Etchison and Konachek take this face off. As the Braves are looking to make a final rush here as we have under two minutes left. Blessing will give it up. Big shove by Brian into Lee. And Schneider able to chuck it away from the goal. Blessing. Blessing over to Janowski. Janowski to Chris DeConcillis. DeConcillis over to Carrick. And Carrick follows it down as it goes behind the net. Bryant picks it up, gets back to Lee. Sharp shot there by Lee, and Schneider gets a glove on it. Really lucky there that uh, Illinois wasn't able to get their stick down. I don't think they were fully prepared for that cross crease pass because that was something I mentioned earlier that Illinois is really trying to key in on because Bradley, they were, they were down and out. So if Illinois could have gotten their stick on that, that could have been a goal for them. A minute remaining in the period here. And falling to the ice is Corrales, picked up there by Rock. Rock over to Pierce. Pierce chasing after it as he doesn't quite get a handle on it. Gertstein, and time is called. Should be a nice offensive zone look here for Bradley. About 50 seconds left on the clock, so if they're able to win it back, they will have a decent amount of time to possess it and kind of look for a last second shot here in the period. And Tommy Davis will take this face off here. Shaq poking it away from Ellis and Davis behind the net. Davis looking to sink it in from behind. Illini taking a pass at it, rushing the net here. Nice job there by, da by Rock. And Davis with the puck coming in fast as he lets go of it for a second. Sharp shot there, just getting outside the post. And intercepted by Davis. Davis to the ice. And Will DeConcillis over to Ellis. And Ellis, one last shot taken here, gloved by Schneider with 2.7 seconds left. Still enough time here for Illinois to get their face-off play that they've been doing. So this could be a deadly opportunity for Illinois. They do not elect to pull the goalie, so they still only have five skaters on the ice. 2.7 seconds left here, Etchison. And it is pushed back and that will end the period just out of the reach there of the guy they were trying to get it to. It would have been a perfect opportunity, but Carrick just an inch off of his stick. Really back and forth period there for the Braves and the Illini. A lot of dumps. I talked to the coaches before the game and they did talk about Bradley setting the bar quite high with their six game win streak and now they are, have some ground to make up for after a sweep against the University of Iowa. And we will head down to our ringside reporter, Caden Sexton, and hear his thoughts on how this period went for the Braves and for the Illini. Caden. Thank you, Megan. Uh, we exit the second period tied 2-2. Two to two. However, the more alarming stat is that we're kind of slipping towards what happened last weekend at Iowa. The shot total has gone up to 21-10 in favor of the University of Illinois. That is not looking good for the Bradley Braves. Our mission really was to come back and get more shots in, whether that be just by creating opportunities or taking more good chances and they're slowly losing it as they've doubled the difference in the margin from the last period. However, the other thing I want to talk about is the difference in physicality between this weekend and last weekend. Last weekend, Bradley and Iowa both kind of started to play a chippy, hit-and-run kind of uh, way to play the game. And this weekend, we're seeing a lot of uh, physicality, but we're not seeing the same amount of hidden runs. And I, we saw 11 penalties in one game last weekend. We've only seen three today, both in, uh, all three in the first. But we're slowly seeing more and more calls from both sides that 
look very questionable that the referees are just letting play on. It's going to be an interesting third period to see who's going to come out with more shots, who's going to come out with more goals, and who's going to play a more physical game, and is that going to lead them in the penalty box? Back to you, Megan. All right, thank you so much, Caden, for that analysis. Only one period remaining here for the Illini and the Braves. Tough game here, really, on both sides, and either one getting two ahead. Who would you say has the advantage right now, Logan? I would have to say it has to be the Illinois Fighting Illini. They've really, they've controlled the puck. They've gotten shots. But I think Bradley does have a good chance here because something they were able to key in on, like I mentioned, was the, the potential for breakaways here. So if they are able to get hit the right man like Tommy Davis down the middle, him on a breakaway would be deadly for the Braves. So while the Illinois does have good odds, Bradley still does have some good chances here to get to get the win. Well, it will be nice to see what these two teams can do after this intermission. One more period of play left in regulation. You are watching the Bradley Hockey Network. I'm Megan Ruger Smith alongside Logan Quinn, and we will do our best to fix these audio issues over the intermission. Once again, I do deeply apologize about the scratchy audio. Catch us back after the break.
Welcome back to the University of Illinois Ice Arena. We are now in the third period here. Both teams tied at 2-2. Two -two. And we are off here, Gousset over to Bryant and Bryant will dump it. Hoping that Bradley can make some more connected passes here and be a little more aggressive with their offense. Flood intercepted there by Lee and that is gloved by Wardell. Really good slot opportunity there for the Braves. Unable to capitalize, but if they are able to get more chances like that throughout the period, it'll help them get that extra goal to get the lead. Both teams looking for some offense here as we get later into this game. And the ref calling out at the Illini players as he will reset them. And puck drops. Nice job there by Konacek getting ahead of that. Goose will knock it over into Spence. Spence with a quick turnaround, unable to get it. And that gets high into the air as the puck gets launched over. And coming down is Brian. Brian from around the net. Lee after him. Lee, one of the quickest players on the Illini team. And blessing, blessing to Bryant. Poked away there by Gertstein. And the puck comes around Schmidt. Schmidt against the wall. Picked up there by Fisher. Fisher over to Carrick. And Carrick with a nice back pass there to Lee. Schneider, glove up, unable to find the puck. And we are in the corner over there fighting for it as we see Schmidt. Coming around, and Deacon Silas hands it over to Carrick, and Carrick will send it down. Nice block there by Rack, and Baker sends it over to Pierce. Pierce over to Corrales. Corrales kind of bumps it over into the corner, and it gets sent around. Pierce will send it back over to Rack, and Rack makes a shot, and it gets blocked by Janowski. Janowski chips it over to Rock. And in the corner are Janowski and Pierce. Pierce into the boards, a little more physical here. As there's a push by the Braves by Pierce. And we see here Vine attempting to get away with it and Rock will come on around, touching up. Rock over to Pierce. As we see a line change here, and Pierce will just send it by the net slowly as he will head off the ice. Pierce with a little bit of a push there towards Ellis. Malbon getting it away from Fisher. And Malbon comes around into the corner, and he will chip it across the ice. Following it up is Bouchard. Poked away, Ellis now. Bouncing it off the boards, trying to get it over there to Fortune. And poked away by Fisher, and the puck is behind the net as Baker looks to come in from behind. Nice job there by Will DeConcillis. DeConcillis coming in hot around the ice, unable to keep a grip on it. Picked up by Fisher. The line ice still in their defensive zone. Nice pass there from Enright over to Wilde Kinsillis. Picked up behind the net by Matt McDonald. McDonald over to Davis, intercepted by Chris DeConcillis. And DeConcillis gets it away from Shaq. As Malbon follows it up, it gets into the air. Lee with the puck and Kinsillis. Nice save there by Schneider, able to get his right leg out in time to block it. And in the corner go the Braves as Malbon switches out for Gousset to join the rest of his line. And Carrick with the puck coming in hot, and he's able to get it past Shaq. Nice stick handling there, and deflecting it is Flood, and it gets sent back into the Illini defensive zone. Konacek across the ice over to Christy Gonsillis. 
And back in is Carrick. And another good save here by Schneider. And Sam Bryant comes in leading the charge. And he is looking to sneak one in. Incredible save there by Wardell, staying with the puck all the way through. Sam Bryant showed some really nice speed there, separating the line of defensemen and then getting a nice backhanded shot in. One thing I've noticed this period is both teams are keying in on getting bodies in front. It doesn't matter how that goal gets in, but all that matters is getting that lead. We start off in the corner, and I hear a big thumpy. Don't have the best eyesight of that corner as Gumbartsik comes around. Nice back pass there to Vine. A lot of a common theme here with the Illini. Lesson getting a little physical here with Enright, and it'll get sent down as Bryant comes and chases it down. And Bryant sends it in the corner. Picked up by Enright, and that gets hit off of Blessing. Following it up is once again Gumbartsik, and that gets sent back to Enright, and that'll hit off the back of the wall. 24 to 13 shots on goal now in favor of the Illini as Sam Bryant over there with Zimbekos. Zimbekos not having a lot of playing time here tonight, but we'll see what a fresh face can do as that gets pucked up into the audience here of Bradley Parents. Yeah, really dangerous shot there for the Illini. Devin Schneider didn't have his right pad fully down on the ice, but luckily he was able to get it with his toe there and kick it out. That could have been a really good opportunity for Illinois, but Devin Schneider came up huge. All right, now that our graphics are correct, we can continue on with this game. And coming in hot after that face-off in the corner and coming out of it are the Illini. Deconcillus over to Tyler Bayan. Nice job there by Rock stopping his momentum. Over into the corner are the Braves and Schmidt will come out of it and Rock pokes it away. Picked up there by Vine. Vine back to Jackson Bayan. Bayan turning around, looking for Fisher, and Fisher over to Bayan. Quick shot there, just left of the net. And Schmidt looking to break away here, will chip it up and dump it over, getting chased down by Fisher. Schmidt heads to the outside. Fisher over to Tyler Bayan. Bayan coming around, heading behind the net, and by in scores on a smooth play there. He appeared to beat Devin Schneider. Thirteen minutes and thirty seconds now to tie it up and force overtime or tie it up and then get the lead themselves. All right, and it is now 3-2 Illini here. And we see Flood taking this puck drop. And following it is Gabartzik. Gabartzik to Garrick. And Konacek. Konacek chips it high in the air and that'll go out of play. Yeah. Bradley really needs to respond quickly here because you do not want to fall into that hole of just hoping that you score. You want to get that monkey off your back so that way you can just focus on getting the lead. A little over 13 minutes left here in the period. Braves really hoping to avoid a three-game losing streak here against the Illini. And Malbon, quick off the bat, will set it into the glove of Wardell. Really nice tie up and box out on that face off, allowing Zach Malbon there to get a nice little wrist shot on net. Bradley has done a really good job of getting offensive zone face, our offensive zone chances off their face offs. And Davis will take that face off. 
And Flood chases after it, picked up by Lee. Matt McDonald chips it high into the air, and that also goes out of play. Yeah, Bradley has not really had much offensive zone time so far, so they'll really need to get a quick goal here as they send out, I believe, Sam Bryant, who he does have two so far, so he could be the hat trick hero. Sam Bryant, definitely a player for the Braves. Coming in hot tonight as we see a little bit of aggression coming up, which is expected this late in a close game. And a lot of back and forth here. Atchison will chip it up. Blessing following after it in the corner. And it comes around Atchison once again, chasing it up. And it looks like that'll get picked up by Simbekos. Simbekos over to Gumbartsik. And Gumbartsik coming around, trying to extend their lead. Nice job there by Atchison, pushing away Simbekos. And in the corner are Vine. And Vine over to Chris DeConcillis. And Jombrowski on the ice gets pushed down there by Spence. No penalty called for that big hit. Coming around and shooting is Bryant, and that'll get bounced off the wall. And Pierce over to Corrales. That was an incredible play there. Fortunately for the Braves, unable to get it into the net, and we see Simbekos coming in, and that'll bounce off the body of Sam Bryant. Gousset over to Corrales. Corrales over to Pierce, and that gets picked up by Borisi. Braves looking to keep it in the Illini defensive zone. And Gousset over to Corrales. Corrales a little bit tied up there with Fisher. And Schmidt will chase after it. Gousset as he sends it over to Pierce. Pierce backtracking. And into the corners they go on the wall here. And the puck gets sent out. Coming after it is Barisi. And Barisi and Shaq now, and that gets past Flood. Rack over to Schmidt. Schmidt looking for Davis. Davis into the corner, handling it well, and he sends it over to Schmidt. And that'll get picked up by Fisher. Chasing after it is Jackson Bayen. Bayen looking for a shot, defended by Devin, and that gets in. Yeah, Bradley got a lucky rebound a couple minutes ago and was unable to finish. And Illinois there gets. Unable to control the rebound. It bounces straight out to the Illinois player who buries it to give Illinois a two to goal lead. The Illini up by two now. 11 minutes left in the game. The Braves need to start their comeback now as Lee starts off and passes it over to Gertstein. A little bit of tie up here in front of the net. Nice job there by McDonald. Getting it away from the net as Daniels comes in, sends it around the corner. Following it after it is Bouchard. Bouchard into the wall with Gertstein. And the puck gets sent down. Kona check following it, and on the floor goes a Bradley player in the corner. Bouchard looking for it. Malbon and Contreras. As we see Carrick coming around the corner. And nice block there by Bouchard. Bouchard will dump it, unable to find another Brave. And we see a quick line change here as the Cam Etchison has joined the ice, Grady Blessing, trying to get it away from Jackson Bayan. And in the corner as we go back and forth here, Braves needing to act fast as that gets dumped down by Gertstein. Atchison comes off the ice. Malbon pokes it away, picked up by Ellis. Ellis making a charge here. Malbon with a big hit. Blessing into the corner. The Braves will... Follow out Fisher and touch up. And nice job there by Blessing. And Blessing chips it high in the air. Corrales coming after it. Gousset hovering back as Baker has joined them. Gousset 
attempting to break the rhythm of Ellis. And we have a stoppage. Yeah, I'd like to point out Zach Malbon there. Really good accountability by him. He turned it over at the blue line. And then he said, I'll make up for my mistake by drilling one of the Illinois players and freeing up the puck for Bradley. Really nice play and effort by him there. Braves really need to play the full 60 here behind by two, nine minutes left. The Braves are a little bit known for their comeback attempt, so let's see if they can pull it off as Corrales takes the face off here and it goes back to Chris DeConcillis. DeConcillis over to Vine and Vine Sends it down to Simbekos. And Pierce picks it up. Back in the Illini's grasp. And right, and right over to Gumbartsik. Pokes it away, Bryant. And hauling after it is Corrales, but Christy Kinsillis will get there first. Baker attempting to intercept it, Vine to his knees. And he gets back up quite quickly as Pierce attempts to stay away from the aggressive Illini defenders as Sam Bryant looks to get something going here. Bryant with the only goal scored tonight, both of them coming from his own hands. And that is chipped up in the air by Gumbartsik. Bryant sends it over to Gousset. Gousset over to Pierce. Pierce Looking for another Brave. Unfortunately, no help there as Carrick will send it down. Flood chasing after it with Schmidt. This will give Bradley a much needed... Oh, they're waving off the icing, actually, and sending it to center. I was about to say this will give Bradley a much needed offensive zone face-off, but sadly, the officials overturned that, and so it'll be a neutral zone face-off now at center ice. All right, and we see Flood take on Konacek. Flood gets it over to Davis. Davis will shoot it outside the net. And that gets sent back to Davis. Davis looking for something, and that gets picked up by Wardell. Two really nice chances there for Tommy Davis, who is unable to finish, but... Bradley is starting to show signs of life again and show that they really want to tie up this hockey game. Winning this game would be huge morale-wise for the Braves. Winning away at Champaign would be huge for them as they come back to the Owen Center tomorrow night. However, they do still have some tricks to pull here. And a little bit of... Fun there between Fortune and Etchison. As we take some time to stop here and get ready for this face-off. And coming out of it, Blessing unable to get a poke at it. Illini still fast as ever and ever. And there's a trip in front of the net there. Fortune and Schneider go down together. Yeah, Devin got run over there. And then uh, to Illinois now, it looks like number two, Daniel Janowski is leaving the game and heading to the locker room. So he appears to be done for the night now. Janowski out, and we see Schneider shaking his fall off over there, circling the net. And we see this line here of Bryant, Malbon, Pierce, and... Corrales on the ice here looking to get something going for the Braves. And in the corner is Malbon. Malbon and Corrales back and forth. Nice block there by McDonald. And Baker trying to get past the Illini defense as it gets dumped once again. Corrales ahead of the puck though. Able to get past Gertstein as Pierce lets it go to Dom Fisher. Fisher against the wall, picked up there by Malbon. Malbon over to Bryant. Uh, sorry, Baker. Into the corner they go. Lee following him up. Chris DeConcillis. And that gets sent down there by Garrick. Coming around Malbon once again. Malbon, a lot of aggressive playing here. 
taking control of the puck, and we see Lee shoot at the net a little far off. Schneider on guard here as the Illini are attempting to further expand their lead. Nice block there by Pierce. Chasing after it goes Enright. Kinsillis over to Carrick into the corner. Chasing after it is Konacek. Flood alongside Carrick in the corner. And Flood will send it out to Sam Bryant, who will chip it up. Shaq coming after it. Him and Fisher into the boards. Davis now on the ice. And that gets sent down, chasing after it. Schneider outside. Nice block there by Schneider. Tommy Davis. Coming down the ice as he tries to get past the Illini defenders whose defense has not slowed down one bit and chipped away there by Bryant. By Davis to Bryant, Gousset coming in the corner. Shaq following him close. Bryant switching off there for Rock. Atchison coming around the corner, five minutes remaining in this period. Sent down by Atchison over to Davis. Davis unable to get a stick on it. Big slap there by Davis. And it rebounds Atchison now alongside Gertstein. And Atchison trying to poke it away from Gertstein. Nice stick handling there by Gertstein, keeping it away from the Braves. Over to Bayan, Tyler Bayan. Chipped away there by Will DeConcillis. DeConcillis. Over to Chris DeConcillis. And back to Fortune. Will DeConcillis. Behind him his brother and DeConcillis across the ice to Enright. Gets chipped up in the air. A little close call there for the Braves. Ellis sends it back over in the corner. Illini trying to spend as much time here in Bradley's zone as they can. Rock into the corner along with Ellis. Big push there by Fortune. Pushed away by Fortune. Nice catch there by Schneider. Yeah, Devin Schneider was almost caught in no man's land earlier in that shift when the puck, it was going decently fast and then it slowed down once it hit the Bradley zone, causing Devin to be unsure whether he wanted to come out and play it. Luckily though, on that breakaway, he was able to stick with it and make a nice pad save to keep Bradley only down two. Schneider definitely proving tonight why he is the other half of the solid goaltenders that Bradley has. Lee coming in alongside Schmidt, and that'll go across the ice over to Carrick. In the corner goes Carrick. And Carrick handling it carefully. Big shot there by Enright. Poked away. And coming down the ice looking for a break here is Pierce, and that goes into the corners. Braves really need to get something going here if they have a chance of tying it. And nice job there by Carrick reaching out to grab that. Nice job there by Schneider to block that shot. Now 31 to 15 shots on goal in favor of the Illini. Lee picking it up. McDonald following him, and on his knees is Carrick kind of Bashing into the players as he had that momentum. Lee over to buy in. Coming out of it is Schmidt. Schmidt over to Baker. Under three minutes now. Schmidt over to Pierce. Pierce not ready for it, and Pierce will send it down. And that goes behind the net there. And Gousset will allow Bryant to go after it. Fisher picks it up, chops it over. Once again, Bryant coming around the corner. Bryant carefully out skating. Vine over there and Corrales over to Spence. Spence in the corner. And the puck gets away over to Gousset. And Gousset chips it back behind the net. And it goes back to Gousset. 
and Gousset. Chips it over, however, Spence. Changing out for Davis. Davis heading back out on the ice. Putting Davis on the ice has seen a lot of time here tonight. Davis definitely hungry to follow up his hat trick on Saturday. Blessing alongside Shaq and Blessing tries to make it on his own here. Nice shot there, unable to get it in. Nice job getting down though by Wardell. And coming around, Malbon. And Schneider will send it in front of the net and get it away. Pace of play has quite picked up and Schneider puts a stop to that. Lucky the break there for the Braves as Devin Schneider was caught going to the bench, but luckily Illinois elected to shoot it early and they missed wide. Really fortunate chance because it allows the Braves to still only be down two, which with a minute 03 left, it does still give them a chance to come back and tie it. Braves have to ask fa act fast here if they want to tie it up and we will see a timeout taken by the two teams. Yeah, if Bradley, they're really gonna want to put, Tom, I think Tommy Davis out there for sure. They need to get into the offensive zone early so that way it allows them to get Devin Schneider to the bench and get that crucial six man. And from there, they need to get bodies in front of the net. They need to get shots and get bodies so that way they can get, they can get shots and allow the Illinois goaltender not to be able to see the puck. All right, the Braves head back out onto the ice a minute and three seconds here. Braves down by two. Do you think that we will see a little less of Tommy Davis tomorrow based on how hard he was pushed tonight? Um, I do not think so. I think Tommy will be one of the guys you focus on. And I think, I believe Bradley is electing for th four forwards and putting Tommy uh, Shaq back on D. And Shaq chips it up. Christy Kinsillis floundering over there. And he chips it away as we see Davis get control of the puck. Nice pass there from Davis to Baker. And attempted pass there to Sam Bryant. And the net is empty here. Lucky break there for Bradley again as Devin Schneider was going to the bench and Illinois shot it, missed wide, and so this will give Bradley an offensive zone faceoff. And back to your question earlier, Megan, yeah, I think Tommy Davis will, he'll still get opportunities because he, he's your, your star player. You need to lean on him and get goals from him, and so that's what I think they'll do tomorrow. Coming in to take the faceoff, Cam Etchison. Atchison duking it out there with Deacon Silas and Lee. We are down to 30 seconds here. Things looking dim for the Braves. Shaq, Shaq over to Bryant. Bryant unable to get a stick on it. Kona check, attempts to send it over. Nice job there by the Braves. And Pierce tries to get it down. Empty net goal there for the Illini. Yeah, one thing of note there for the Braves is they put five forwards out there, one of those being Tommy Shaq, who they trust on D, but very interesting strategy as five forwards and one defenseman. It it could have been very critical in getting a goal, but there it led to not very many many men being back, which caused Illinois to score. And it appears on the celebration there, Illinois will get a penalty. Penalty here for Illinois. Braves have 11 seconds of a power play here. Really not much they can do to salvage this game. All they can do at this point, finish out as strong as possible and look forward to what they can do tomorrow against the Illini at their home rink. And the final line to come out here, Shaq, Davis, Pierce, Flood, and Bryant. They started the game and they are going to end the game here as the faceoff comes. Flood attempting to shoot it out into the corner and following it up is Gertstein. And Baker will come around the corner, picked up there by Fortune, and that is game. 
Yeah, one thing I want to point out, Megan, is our first key to the game for Bradley was getting shots. And by my count, they had six in the first period, four in the second, and five in the third. If that is how you're going to get offense, you're not going to be very successful. And that is why the Braves in the last three games, I believe, have scored a total of five goals now, which has really killed them at times. Impressive job, though, by Bradley's defense. Evan Schneider doing as much as he can there to keep the offense at bay. The Illini had some brutal offense and some really great defense. It just seemed like the Illini kind of had the upper hand for most of the game. The defense played really solid. This arena, it really favors Illinois, who they want to play a nice, fast game because they have a lot of fast forwards. But Bradley's defense was able to still stay in front of them and not really allow many odd man rushes like they were allowing against Iowa last weekend. All right. We will head down to our ringside reporter, Caden Sexton, for one last time before we head home. Caden, what do you got for us? Thank you, Megan. That was a disappointing loss for the Braves. They lost 4-2 to two tonight against a lot of the University of Illinois. And it wasn't a pretty one. Shots, I've said it, this is my third time now, but that was a common tragedy for the Braves tonight. They got out shot 31 to 15, basically half of the shots that the Illini had. And what we learned in Iowa is that scoring or shooting less than half your opponent's uh, attempts isn't what gets you to win hockey games. A lot of missed penalties that both sides preferred they got. However, the game ends and we move on. Tomorrow we will come back to the Owen Center and look, we are on a three game losing streak now. These Braves don't wanna come back home and make it four. So we're gonna see a lot of ferocity, a lot of fight and a lot of aggression in tomorrow's game. Hopefully we can see the tides turn, but for now we go home with a 4-2 loss. Back to you, Megan. All right, thank you so much for that analysis, Caden. And he did mention a little bit about tomorrow's home game, puck drop at 7 o'clock. And we will see Devin Schneider back in the net. Any thoughts about his performance tonight and how he can carry what he did today into tomorrow's game? Yeah, he looked really good. The, he was making the saves you expect, and then a lot of the extra saves he was also making. He was faced with a couple... Uh, breakaway opportunities that he was able to come up clutch in and stop. I think one thing that will really help the Braves tomorrow is the size of the Owens Center, which is much smaller than this rink, and it will allow Bradley to play a more physical game and really slow down the fighting Illini. It'll be nice to see what Bradley can do as they try and come back from a three-game losing streak. Don't want to extend that into four. Tomorrow we will be at the Owens Center, so please check us out back here on the Bradley Hockey Network. I'd like to give a big shout-out to all of my crew that came out to Illinois today. I'm Megan Ruger-Smith on play-by-play -play and directing alongside Logan Quinn on color commentary, Caden Sexton on sideline reporting, Courtney White on camera, and as always, Scott Chernobrov with our wonderful animated graphics. Thank you all so much for watching this stream tonight, and hopefully we'll come back tomorrow with a Braves win. You watch the Bradley Hockey Network.